Hello, you are welcome back to Dr. OJ Digital's Math Online Tutorial. Uh, in this video, we shall continue from where we stopped the other time. And what we want to learn here today is some of nth term of an arithmetic progression. Some of nth term of an arithmetic progression. Now, if we are given an arithmetic progression, how do we find the sum of n term? Generally, the sum of n term of an arithmetic progression is denoted by the symbol Sn is equal to n all over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 bracket d. Okay, this is the formula for finding the n term of uh, arithmetic. Uh, progression okay or you can also say that is the same thing as n all over 2 into a plus l that is if the last time is given in that uh, uh, progression you can either use this or this if the last time is given use this if the last time is not given use this okay now um with this you will observe that um this is closely related to a p as some of the parameters in AP are equally here, A is the first uh, term and D is a common difference. So let's quickly solve one or two examples to wrap it up, to wrap it up. Now, example one, example one, example one. Now, example one goes, example one goes. If the first term, if the first term of an AP is 10 and the fifth term the fifth term is 26 okay what is the sum of the first fifth term what is the sum of the first fifth term what is the sum of the first uh, fifth term now we are given the fact this is very very uh, simple you can only the moment you are able to you know state the formula you get it right quickly okay state the formula let's write it here because of the space now if the first term of an ap is 10. The first value is 10. Okay. And the fifth term is 26. The fifth term, T5, which is something as A plus 4D, you know, is what? Is 26. This is our way together. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now, what and what is the sum of the uh, automatically if you look at it holistically, you see you see that. Yeah. This formula is, uh, you know, the formula we are going to use here is, you, you will see from this statement now, which, which of the formula you are going to use. Now, our A is being given. Even the last term is the fifth term because we are asked to find the sum of the first fifth term. So that means the first term is 10. We don't know the second term. Are we together? We don't know the second term. You know, we don't know the third term. We don't know. So this one does not contain a common difference. So let's quickly, let's quickly use the second one. All right, okay. So using Sn, that is, and uh, S5, because the number of, you know, the, what is the sum of the first five times, that is, N is five, is equal to five all over two into, we are using this formula. A is 10 plus L, the last time is 26, according to that statement. So this is what 5 multiplied by 10 times, I mean 10 plus 26, that's 36, all over 2. 2 here, 18. 2 in 36 is 18. That's 5 times 18 is what? It's 90. You can go, wow. That means we have, this is very fast to solve. If you use the second formula too, you are going to get. So try one to two, I want you to try the second formula and show me the answer in the comment section. So try the second formula. Yes. You must get the same thing. Yeah. So show me second formula 
how you get the answer in the seven for, for when you use the seven formula in the comment section. Okay. Now let's solve. Let's let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. I hope you are getting it. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, the second question says, if that's example two, example two, if the nth term of an AP is 5n plus 2, find the sum of its first terms, of its first 10 terms. Okay. Now, let's solve this. Let's solve this. If the nth term of an AP, that is Tn, is 5n plus 2, find the sum of its first 10 terms, S10. We don't know S10. We want to look for S10. Okay. Now, in this case, for us to find S10, you know, we know that our formula is Sn is equal to n all over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 bracket g, or Sn is n all over 2 into bracket a plus l. We are not given the last term, so we cannot use this one. So we have to use this. And for you to use this, we don't know the first term a. You don't know the common difference. So that means we have to find the common difference and the first term. So the first term here, T1, is... 5 times 1 plus 2. That's 5 plus 2, which is 7. And for us to get the common difference, we have to find the second term too. T2 will be 5 times when n is 2 plus 2. That is what? 10 plus 2. That is 10 plus 2. And that is 12. I think that is clear. Fine. So the common difference now will be T2 minus T1, which is 12 minus 7, and that is 5. Beautiful. So we can now use this formula. Since we have known the parameters we are to use, so there is no problem again. There is no problem again. All right. So therefore, what time will we have to find? The sum of 10th term, S10. I think that's what we have to find. Yes, let's check. Uh -huh, yes. So that is n is 10, 10 over 2 into 2 times a. Our a is 7 plus n plus 10 minus 1. The common difference is 5. So this will be 2 in 10. That is 5. Hope we are getting this. Okay. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 9 times 5. So this will be 5 into 14 plus, this is what, 45. That's 9 times 5 is 45. So now we can solve this by multiplying out. So we have 5 multiplied by 59. Okay. So when we multiply 5 by, that's 295. So that is that about that. The answer is 295. Did you enjoy this video? Are you sure? If you enjoyed this video, keep your fingers crossed while we produce more videos on uh, series and, uh, and uh, you know, sums. We are going to discuss uh, GP, geometric progressions too. You know, we have just completed every aspect of, uh, you know, uh, the arithmetic progression. So in the next video, we shall complete, I mean, we shall, we shall actually start talking about uh, geometric progression. So we will start with uh, end time of geometry progression. So if you enjoyed this video, I used to say, give it a thumb up, comment, share, and like. God bless you. Bye.